Psalm 103, Thanksgiving for God's goodness, Psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Loving God, through your Son Jesus, we come to you giving you thanks for your steadfast love for your mercy, for your compassion, for your pardon, for your new opportunities, and for also be present in times of sorrows, in times when we need strength and your peace. For that we are grateful, and we pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Last Friday, I lose a cousin out of criminality in some areas in our islands. He was confused with someone else, a father, a husband, a son, a Christian man, great co-worker, um, it was in his day off from work. He was called because shortage on, um, co-workers that day. So he worked second shift. And when he was traveling back home, um, he was driving back roads. And apparently he was confused with someone else and was bullet, killed instantly. And then today we are remembering 911. So many times in our lives, we question God, why these horrible things happened around this earth? close to us, not too close, but still many things that directly impact our souls. And it is so difficult as Christians to have people understand that no matter what happens in this world, we don't belong to this world. We are people of God. We have another place to live for eternity where none of these horrible things that we experience here and now will happen in glory with our Lord. But that brought me to this psalm. Bless the Lord of my soul. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. And I would sing it along, but I have a level of weakness today as I share here with you. Um, have to confess, I'm grieving. Um, this disease going around in our world also the coronavirus has making continues to make a impact and severe damage in many areas of our lives 
and we will never go back to our previous normal. So we need to keep to be creative and to try to cope with the pandemic of coronavirus, the pandemic of criminality, the pandemic of terrorism, the pandemic of evil among us, because we cannot escape one way or the other. We are impacted by negative issues socially that cause a lot of damage to good people, to Christian people, to our brothers, our sisters all around the world. But like David said in Psalm 103, let us keep blessing our Lord so that our soul can get to the level of regardless of what is happening in our midst, we will still worship God and receive the Lord's benefits created for us because God will never forsake us. Our Lord will never abandon us. So it doesn't matter how bad life treats us, we know that we have someone to care for us and to bring us to the other level. So keep on going, keep your hope, keep your faith, keep looking to heaven because ultimately there's the place where we are going to be living all together joyfully worship our Lord for eternity. God bless you. God keep you. Take care. Stay safe, healthy, and blessed. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.